Please, civilians leave the area as soon as possible. We are investigating the cause of this explosion. One of the knights yelled. He stopped as he noticed Lucas. Ah, Lucas, we need your help. None of my men can sense anything around the explosion area. It's just like a stone wall. In that moment, it was what passed them. Not wanting to let her walk into danger, did Lucas follow his daughter, leaving the knight behind. Sensing the incoming danger, did Lucas push Rose out of the way, only to be hit with full force. Rose managed to get back on her feet, only to see a huge dark figure staring her down. Fawn, barrier. Her plant started to engulf the figure, only for it to break free. The figure drew a massive sword out of thin air, ready to crush her. So, as I pray, final sword slash. With that, the sword of the figure got pushed enough to set her what was, and along her to step aside, only to be picked up. She looked at the person grabbing her, white hair, tan skin, and a black and red outfit. Who are you? she asked the man. He looked down at her. You really can't recognize your own father. To be fair, it's the first time I used this form. He sat and sat it down on top of her rooftop, summoning a bow and arrow. He took aim and shot multiple arrows, watching a star cut cut down. Heracles, the hero of the twelve labors, are you willing to stand down? Lucas asked, unmasking the giant figure. Heracles just jumped into the air. Damn it. Excalibur burst mode. With that, two golden swords got created. Lucas countered Heracles' attack. He used that to land a few slashes of his own. Still, Heracles swung sealed faster than he could inflict them, till Heracles threw him back. So that's what fighting me is like. I start to understand why people want to see me dead. Given their distraction, Rose casted multiple firebolts, only to get the attention of Heracles. Lucas tried to intersect, hoping for something to get in time. As he may should have let Heracles, did he notice all the thorns slowing him down? Maybe we can fight him together, Ross asked. Lucas looked at his daughter. Sure, but once you run out of energy, I want you to run. How tough can one man be? She asked, looking at Heracles. Heracles survived the twelve labors, meaning we have to kill him twelve times, and we are struggling already. Both touched the next few attacks. Can't you just use your knife? Lucas thought about it. No, we have to kill him twelve different ways, because he gets a resistance to each way we kill him. And I don't want to know what the resistance to the concept of death itself is. So, how do we kill it twelve times? If one is already dead hard, was asked, as he tried to burn Heracles again. Easy, I will show you Archer's true power. I have been cultivating the spell. Signs that I use build magic for the first time. So, as I pray, turn life's blood work. Rose tried to follow the attack, but it seemed like twenty blades cut the target at the same time. Lucas' large form turned back into the normal female archer version Rose knew. But before anything else, the Lucia got smacked into a building. As one of the swords vanished, it was see the attack that was aimed at her. 
She managed to haul out of its way only for her left arm to be cut open. Before her speech, she could master that she went around her Hercules, noticing that one of her father's swords was still there and only stuck in the ground. Did she went for it, remembering the legend she heard of this blade, as she laid her hands on it, would she feel the restrained power? Please, Excalibur, I know you have been created to protect the rightful ruler of Britannia, and neither do I know what Britannia is, nor am I a rightful ruler. Still, I need your strength to protect my father, home, and all the people living here. She cried out. The sword followed her command until the cut of arm. Taking a new stance, she read it herself, knowing that all she could all she got would be one blow. Heracles came in range, but she had to wait. He lifted his sword, but she stayed still. The second before the blade ripped her in two, did she jump forward, unleashing all the energy her body could give out, cutting Heracles' final to life stone. As the blade started to fade away, it was far to her knees. She felt her body being ripped apart, but the stress she just endured. Only for someone to kick the sword out of her hands. Rose looked up to see Ian standing over her and checking her wounds. While the other knights that came to be the backup did their best to get Lucia out of the wounds of the house she got smacked into. After Lucas recovered, Judy walked over to Rose and Ian. He picked up the sword and looked at it and his daughter. I don't think you are ready to use such a weapon, but the fact that you could take out two lives with a single blow is impressive, he said and patted her on the head. So, there are six more of these. Monsters, he said. Lucas let the sword return to its home. No, that was only a projection of the real Heracles. The original is still out there, with his twelve lives intact. He said to the shock of us. So, are uh, the others as tough as the Heracles? She asked in horror. Hmm. Not in terms of war strength, but I have other abilities. Let's just hope I didn't recreate the old Grailwa. I wouldn't want to face that witch. And uh, with that, the cleanup of the area started. Lucas and Rose returned back home. Emily hugged her daughter. I saw what happened on the news. Is everything alright? Rose pushed her mother away. Yeah. Just everything hurts. With that, Rose went to her room. Is she really alright? Emily whispered. Hmm. Her pride got a taint. But I didn't make a better figure, so I'm sure she'll get over this. Emily looked at him. That's not what I meant. He kissed on the cheek. I know. With that, he vanished into the bedroom. Emily waited a minute before following. Oh, what did I expect? She said as his arm already asleep. To think that after all those years, he was still the same by a fell for. She whispered in his ear before lying next to him and cuddling him. As she woke up, did she notice that he was still sleeping in her arms? You are awake, aren't you? She asked after a few minutes of just laying there. Lucas turned to her. Apparently, but gave it away. 
he whispered. You stood still and let me just hug you. You are in a constant set of movement when you sleep, she said, and kissed him. After spending a bit more time together did I leave the apartment. Lucas went into the basement of the hotel, while Amri walked into her office. Jack worked on the spike as Lucas entered. It looks like you barely changed a thing here, he noted as Jack got up. Yep. I was kind of busy over the last few years. I read to report. Do you have any clue who's behind the attack? Lucas grabbed his toolbox and checked the bike as well. Not really. All I can say is that it was clever to project Heracles power onto another place. That was a great idea. What we need is someone that has a hero card as well. I managed to temporarily turn my witch hero arch into a hero card, but I still can take a full advantage of that power. The spirit of the Asbury showed herself. Isn't there a way to find one of these cards? I mean, if they have that much magical power, they must be traceable. She said, look at stuff for a moment. No, else it would have been easy to find seven cards. And as the person that found all of them, I just landed in front of them. Healy. That's not like you, Jack countered. Lucas put the toolbox down. I just spent the last eight years trapped in a pocket dimension with only death as my companion. So how about you give me a few days to get back to my old style? The spirit stepped between the two. You said that you could create a temporary version of a card that is capable to hold its own for a while. Why don't we create more of these cards? We could, but those cards would be really dangerous to use. I can fall back to my normal witch hero mode. Everyone else would just gamble with their lives. The moment one of these cards would be active, Jack finished his work on the bike. Then all we can do is twin. Just hoping to wait for someone to find his cards would create a lot of danger till the last one is found. And even that, that's only the beginning of the Great War. Mm -hmm. Ross could go to the Academy. Seek, Mesh, Ian, and Safira were already waiting for her. I heard about the encounter last night. Seek started, but I have a mission that needs to be done, and you fought the only knights that I currently don't need somewhere else. Mesh turned to him. They are still just students. Is it really alright to throw them in danger again? Some of the night seven didn't recover from the fight with the coldest yet. Seek turned to her. And now, you should know that these three have proven themselves as capable knights already. Plus, you are with them. There are only two knights I would trust more than you for, and that's your father's. Now, to the mission. We received strange reports from Hot Spring and the mountains. Your job will be to check it out and report back. Looks like we need to go shopping, Safira said with enthusiasm. Do we really have time for that? Ross asked. Seek to to her. Your job is to investigate and the best way to do that is to blend in. Don't worry, the queen is covering the costs for you in your outfits. So, what are your kids still doing here? The longer you wait, the more people are at risk. With that, the four went into the shopping district of the city and started to shop 
on his Simpsons. For a short moment, did he stop? He noticed his father being there as well. But before he could, he certain did Mesh pull him into the closest shop. So, what do you think? Mesh asked as Rose and Zafir came out of the changing room. Rose chose a dark red swimsuit with a black pattern over it, while Zafir chose a black bikini with a red pattern. You look good in it, he said, and turned around. Okay, but you still need something as well. He just grabbed the first wind some shorts he could see. Doing that, Mesh changed into a purple bikini. Okay, that should do the trick, don't you think? Looks like the kids are shopping, Jack said, as he reunited with Lucas. Is it that unusual? Jack thought about it. No, probably not. I thought you wanted to know. When someone watches your daughter's change, Jack expected to kick and roll with it, stopping at the next house wall without leaving a dent in it. What do you two want? Alicia yelled before the two even reached the phone room. Um, we just wanted to let you know that we're going on a trip to train our abilities. Lucas said. Alicia got closer to them. I just sent those kids away to a mission where they'll be safe from your influence, so don't follow them, she said with a dead serious expression. That wasn't our plan, and I think at worst, they end up fighting Kester. And I mean, if Kester will be who I think she is, then we don't have to worry about it. As one would be a strategy and access to the magecraft from the Age of Gods. Sadly, that won't fly. Science rules as nature magic. Ian can use light and cast ice magic. And Mesh has a demon magic. And Sapphira has a dragon.